What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best glitches in Borderlands 3 that still work in 2022. But before we get into anything, I would just like to say I appreciate all the support on my last video with over 100,000 views and gaining over 400 subscribers. Many people requested that I should do an updated 2022 version with more glitches and farms, so I decided to make that video for you guys. I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away three of these weapons on screen right here. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. Alright guys, so the first glitch I'm going to get into is a golden and diamond key duplication glitch. This is the first one I started my other video out with, but it's a pretty simple glitch. What you're going to want to do is have, of course, have some of your golden keys in your inbox as well. You're going to want to go over here to your social tab, go to your mail, make sure that you have either golden or diamond keys, whichever one to duplicate, you can do both. As you can see in the bottom right, I've got 1100 golden keys. And so, first thing you're going to want to do, make your way over here, and you're going to want to go into your system or your PC, your settings, you want to disconnect your internet, and then come back into the game. I'm going to go to that real quick. All right, so I went and just shut off my internet, and as you can see, at the top right, you can see that my internet is not connected. So what you're going to want to do is go down to your social tab, I'm going to go to your social tab right here, and as you can see, I've got 17 golden keys available, and then I've got one diamond key available. So, what you're going to do is just go ahead and accept all of these. Alright, and then you're going to want to quit the game, and then load straight back up into the game that we were just on. As you see, once we load back in, what we're going to want to do a second go back into your social tab again as you can see i've got one one diamond key available and 17 golden key available as you can see i got 1118 now i had 1101 before so let's go ahead and accept these again as you can see quit the game see when we get to the main menu we're going to load straight back into our game one more time and what we're doing is we're constantly just going back in and out after accepting them and then once we load in, we're going to go back to our social tab again. As you can see, got 17 golden keys available, and I got one diamond key available again. But I'm at 1135 now. And if you want to keep your golden keys in your inbox that you still have, you're going to want to reload the game before accepting them. So as you can see, I got mine. I didn't accept them. So what you're going to want to do is go into your system again. You want to turn your internet connection back on. All right, so I just went and turned my internet back on. So now you can see that I've got one available, 17. The second I switch away from this tab, these are going to disappear. See, go back, they're gone. What you're going to want to do for this part is you're going to want to go to the quit the game again. So you go back to the main menu, and you want to load back into that save game again. Now once we load back up, what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to our social tab again. And when we go to our social tab, you can see, go back over here. We got our keys again. We got our diamond key and we got our 17 golden keys. And I kept all the ones we had before. 1135 right there in the bottom right. So now all you have to do is you reach rinse and repeat that process. And as you can see, you can still use all your golden keys. You go over here, no problem. Use them like it's nothing. See, here's your weapons. All right. Well, with that, we're gonna move on to the next. All right, guys. So this one is actually gonna be. A pretty easy infinite XP glitch, I would like to say. I don't think they put this in the game on purpose. But it's actually going to be a one-hit kill, which gets you about a decent decent chunk of XP. So what you're going to want to do is you want to make your way over to Eden 6. And we're going to want to go to the Anvil starting point. And we're going to go right here. We're going to run straight through these bosses. Or not these bosses, but these enemies. You ain't going to worry about them. They're just going to slow you down. Come over here. Don't worry about any of these. Right over here. Straight over this. I would also recommend being on Mayhem Mode 10 just because if you get the more decent amount of XP for doing this, jump straight over here. I want to run, ignore these. Come straight over here, jump. Now you're going to want to get the save point. This is what's going to be real important. Come over here. We're straight down here. And as you can see, boss over here. 
Take a second, run back through. Boss right over here. Mother of Grogan's is gonna spawn. She's gonna jump down right here. And then you're just gonna melee her. You can see, one hit right there. Kill her right away. Got a decent chunk of XP. Now what you wanna do, you wanna save and quit the game. So we get right here. We're gonna load back in and we're actually gonna spawn at that saving point that we had. So all we have to do is just run straight down the staircase again. I'm gonna go back in, she's gonna be right there. As you can see, turn around right here. Jump through here, she's gonna spawn in one more time. Mother of Grogan's. When she jumps down, all you gotta do is melee her. Right here. Boom, that's all it takes. Got 25,000 XP just for that one hit. See, now you can do this over and over as many times as you want. This is a really good, I'd say, XP farm or glitch, however you want to put it. It's a really good one to do. At the beginning of the game, you do not need any DLC content to do this one. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. All right, guys, this next farm I'm going to be showing you is actually one, how you get the Infinity Pistol. And it's also a pretty decent way that we can recycle and get some good XP as long as you have one thing that you're going to need which is going to be a transformer shield and you can get this pretty easily out of a vending machine or a golden key chest it's pretty easy to get one, you just want to get one of these because whenever you get hit with electricity it's going to refill your shield so it's going to make it so you can't die so make your way over to Eden 6 and we're going to go into the anvil again so stay right here, we're going to run straight through these enemies one more time run right through them, don't got to worry about them Make our way up towards the little prison over here. Like I said, it's a lot faster. Just ignore the enemies. Don't worry about them. Straight through the front door. Keep going this way. And then this is the direction we're going to need. Grab the little saving point right here. And then we're going to do... Run straight up these stairs right when you walk in. Jump up here. And we're past here. We're going to turn this coin in. This is where we're going to get to the anointed alpha. And this is where our shield comes in pretty handy. Because he's going to do electric damage to us. And so it's pretty easy to just deal with him. I hit myself with my own bullet. And that's why I died right here. So it takes me back up. As you can see. Did not get an infinity pistol off this one. But the really good thing about this. You can go straight back in, it's pretty easy to do. I'd recommend doing it on Mayhem Mode 10 just because you get a better chance of getting the Infinity Pistol, getting some better weapons with it as well. So we're gonna load back in, it's actually gonna put us right back where we were at the spawn right here, little lobby area. Then we're gonna come back through, straight up here, go over this way, ignore these enemies, straight back up in here. So jump to this little hole again. As you can see, we just got 25,000 XP for that. Same thing with this. We actually did manage to get an Infinity Pistol right here. It's a really good way to get the Infinity Pistol also, as well as just get XP for doing it. 25,000 is pretty easy to do. It doesn't take too long to do. You just get right through it. All right, we'll move on to the next one. All right, guys. So the next farm I'm going to be showing you here is actually a pretty easy one but you are going to need the handsome jackpot DLC one for this and so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your way to the handsome jackpot and then you're going to want to go to the compactor at Trash Lantis right here so you're going to be at the spawn area you're going to want to make your way straight through this area don't stop for these enemies you can just run straight by them they shouldn't bother you too much I'd recommend doing this on Mayhem 10 just so you can get the most XP out of it up over here True Vault Hunter mode is also a lot better to do this on just because you get even more XP than True Hulk, than Vault Hunter Mayhem mode 10. But just do it on True Vault Hunter mode, you get more XP if you have time to do it. Jump over here, and this is going to be the Scrap Trap Nest, which is actually pretty easy to just get through really easy. You don't even have to stress about it. See right here? I let them get all clumped up into one area, just start killing them all. That's a really good way to actually get a decent amount of money as well as just decent XP. You can see everyone I kill, it's 3,000 right there, another six right there. Plus, they die pretty easily, they don't have too much health. There you go, you can see right here. 
Just let them bunch up right here. Pretty easy to kill. Over here, then spawn some more in. Like I said, I prefer doing this on Vault Hunter Mode 10. Just because it's a little easier, not easier, but you get a lot more XP doing it. True Vault Hunter Mode would be the best way to go though. You get a lot more XP doing it that way. And once we get through here, what you're going to want to do is run straight over here. Want to kill Scrap Trap Prime. Not too hard to kill. He dies pretty fast. You drop a decent amount of legendaries. So, the way I like doing it, you go over here. You don't have to reload or nothing. You just want to go to the edge of this crate over here. Don't jump all the way down. You can either jump on the side like I do right here or jump down here. I prefer jumping down here. It works a little better. And then all you do is run straight back in, and all these scrap traps are going to respawn. And so there's a really good way to just get a decent amount of XP pretty fast. Just do this for about an hour. You should be pretty up there on levels. As you're thinking, you're getting, like, I just got 12,000. Just adding up about 3,000 for every one I kill. So you just run through it, shoot, and you do a decent amount right here. Doesn't take too much effort at all. See, over here. Like I said, really the problem is just they take two out two on the spawn. You could have this done pretty fast. They didn't take that long to spawn. I like to get them bunched up. Like I said, here you go. I got thirty-eight thousand off that. Forty-one. Look at that. I'm getting huge chunks of XP for doing this. Go over here. Sprout type prime scan. Spawned again. Here you go. Kill him. A little bit of that for that. You get some decent weapons, like I said, if you want to take them. And that's all it takes to it. You can keep doing this over and over at night. It's a good one to do as well. All right, I'm going to move on to the next one. All right, guys, this one's going to be a pretty good money farm to do for you guys, but you are also going to, like I said, to the last one, you're going to need a handsome jackpot DLC 1 to complete this one. So you're going to make your way over here to the VIP tower entrance once you complete the DLC. We're gonna run straight past this guy. Run straight through all these enemies. You don't need to worry about them that much. We're just gonna go straight to this little elevator over here. Over here, jump up. Over here. Elevator, we're gonna go straight up. One thing bad about the elevator, takes a few seconds to get up to the top, but other than that, it's pretty good. And then once we get up here, we're actually gonna be fighting the handsome Jack robot doesn't take too long he's pretty easy to beat Let's jump over here as you can see we got a little spawn point up here what you do jump down here right over here take him down he's gonna heal up about three times before we can actually kill him all you gotta do is take out these little robots not too much to deal with but he heals up as you can see that's the second time same thing with all these As you can see, that's the end for him. I died, and what's actually going to open up? He drops a bunch of money and a little bit of iridium. You can see, he drops some legendaries. Now you're going to run into this room over here. As you can see, there's actually going to be a decent amount of money all over the floor. As you can see, we're getting 73,000 for every pickup, I would say. Right here. I would say running through this room, opening all the collectibles, you probably get about six, seven million every time. It's pretty easy because all you have to do is just save and quit. Keep doing this over and over, and the money's still going to be here every time you beat them. I see 219,000 for those boxes. You actually get a decent amount of iridium, too, right here, just by breaking these open. And you come down here, also, as well, with these, a bunch of weapons and stuff, crates to open up. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. Alright guys, so this XP is going to be an XP farm that does not require a DLC, it's a really good one to do. So you're going to want to make your way over to Eden 6 and go to the Floating Tomb. You have to have completed the campaign mine and beaten this boss to come back here, but you can spawn right over here, run straight down. As you can see, Grave Ward will be here, take him out pretty fast, doesn't take too much, the right build. And then he's going to drop a bunch of legendaries, and the best part... 
get a pretty decent chunk of XP for doing this. As you can see. Look at that, it drops a bunch of a bunch of iridium, some decent weapons, things. The thing I like about this is now once we do them, you all we have to do is save and quit the game. It's gonna take us back out to the main menu, and then we're just gonna reload into our session. And as you can see, when we load back in, it'll put us right out front. Jump straight down here. Kill him once again. Pretty easy right off the bat. I got 101,000 just for killing him that one time. And like I said, you can run in and do this over and over as much as you like. Just with the right setup and kill him pretty fast. Doesn't take too much. See, he gets a decent amount of Viridium every time for doing this. Decent amount of money. This is a pretty one good to add on to the collection. Alright, move on to the next one. Alright guys, so the next XP farm I'm going to be showing you is going to be the Slaughter Star 3000. So, you're going to want to make your way over to the Slaughter Star 3000 on the drop pod, and you're spawning right out here. Make your way over to this guy, and you're going to accept this quest from him. Then you're going to come around to this door that he's going to open up in a second. And these are actually a really good way to get XP, just because you run in here, you can be on whatever difficulty you want. You go over here, press this button. They're going to start spawning in. These enemies will keep coming in waves. And you can keep redoing this as many times as you want. This is a pretty decent glitch to come into. See, I'm getting a couple thousand XP for every kill. Keep in mind the enemies are going to get harder and harder, to, harder and harder to beat, but you also get more and more XP for killing them. You see, I just got 1300 for that one. I have 1300. These are pretty easy to get. You got the right build, like I said. Pretty easy to just run in here and take care of these guys. Now these are going to keep spawning. It's also a really decent way to get some money, get good loot as well. You see they spawn up here, over there. You can see it's got 11,000 XP right there. 14,000. Now they come in waves, and like I said, they'll keep coming. So now I'm moving on to the next wave. They've got tons of waves and rounds. Rounds make it harder, but I think it's completely worth it. You get a bunch of XP, like I said. Alrighty, we're going to move on to the next one. Alright guys, so the next glitch I'm going to be showing you is actually going to be an infinite money glitch. Now this one's pretty popular, it's been known by people. What you're going to want to do is you want to make your way over to the Proving Grounds, and you're actually going to start the Trial of Instincts when you talk to this person right here. And then you'll come in here, and what we're going to be looking for is some Thieven Jabbers. Now, they're pretty easy to find towards the end of the round. But you just want to be on the lookout because they're going to be carrying Jacob barrels and we need those to get the infinite money glitch working. Like I said, these aren't too bad with the right setup. You just come in here, deal with them pretty easily. They spawn more towards the end of the round, but we just got to be really careful with them not to destroy the barrels because you usually get maybe two, three once you get in this area or you got to reset it. Over here. Come over here. Oh, as you can see, we got one right here. Just dropped a Jacob's Barrel. There should be more probably towards the end of the round. See, no one right here. Took care of him. Got the barrel intact right here. See. There's a jab right there. Took care of him. Now, before you even move on, as you can see, we got some more over here. Be really careful with them not to destroy the barrel. Aim towards more of their legs if you can. See, we got plenty of barrels over here. Nothing to worry about. Just want to cake them, take care of them, don't let them destroy it. Got some more barrels over here. I think this is the most barrels that I've actually gotten doing this. So we got plenty of barrels this time. We got one, two, three, four. Now I know we got a couple over there, so about five, six barrels over here. We got seventh one right here. It's pretty good. Now, like I said, what you want to do from here is you're going to want to go over here. You want to get a really low level gun. You can do this by going to the propaganda center at the beginning of the game and opening up the chest at the end of propaganda center. Get a level one weapon. Or you can do what you want in this and you can get a low level infinity pistol. You can do that by going and doing the glitch I showed you earlier. At a really low level, come in there. Don't even have mayhem on. and Just do that over. You should eventually get an infinity pistol. And so what you want to do, take it out, go to one of these barrels, just start shooting away at it. Never going to run out of ammo with this. This barrel is never going to destroy because of how much health it has in Mayhem 10. 
as you can see, I'm getting about 73,000 every time. Now, like I said, you get plenty of barrels in this mode, so this one does eventually get destroyed because it does have health, it can still break. You can just keep shooting at it as long as you want. You're gonna get 73,000 every time you do it. And so a good way to do this, another way, so the barrel doesn't destroy at all, is you can go over and you can get yourself a gun called the Night Flyer. Now the Night Flyer is actually an Easter egg gun. It's a Batman gun technically, and you get it from Rackman over in Carnivora. You go and you get him. I showed that in my previous video if you want to go watch that video and show how to get the Night Flyer. But I'm just going to have it out here for this time. So with this gun, the thing is, no matter how much you shoot this, once it gets down to 1 HP, it'll never kill this barrel because the whole rule of this gun is that it cannot kill or slash destroy anything because Batman doesn't kill anything. He has no choice to, at least in the Easter egg. So, same difference with this. If you don't want to do it any of these two ways, that's too much setup. Like I said, just go to the propaganda center, get through at the one at the beginning of the game, and you don't have to worry about it too much, and you've got an infinity pistol if you want to do it that way. Infinity pistol is the best route to go, in my opinion. Get a low level, low damage. You can just keep firing away. You don't got to worry about running out of ammo or anything like this. This is probably my favorite glitch that I've ever done a video on. I like it doing it this way. Like I said, you get a few barrels when you do this one. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. Alright, so this next glitch I'm going to be showing you is actually going to be rather similar to the last one we just did. It's going to be the same money glitch, but it's a lot easier, and if you can't get that one to work, I'd recommend trying this one. So what you're going to want to do is make your way over to Eden 6, Floodmore Basin, and you're going to want to go to Naughty Peep, which is going to be over here by the Jacob's house. So you're going to run straight out of here. You're going to hop over this little section, we're going to jump down towards this road. Alrighty, we're going to run over here to where the sign is gonna say dangerous wildlife wildlife right here jump over now we're also gonna be looking for thieving drivers just as well as we were the last time so I would recommend get get a really decent gun to take these out you don't have to do too much about it right here right here now as you can see we got one right here make sure not to shoot the barrel don't want to break that okay I said don't shoot the barrel now there are more probably down here I would recommend if you don't get one up here try looking down here because they spawn all throughout this whole section over here as you can see there was a thieving driver right there I just killed you gotta worry too much about this I have a barrel over here all right took care of them so now we're gonna pretty much do the exact same thing we did in the other glitch Get your low level weapon out. Any difference could be an infinity pistol, level one weapon, doesn't matter. Start loading away, I'm gonna get the same amount. As you can see, I'm still getting 73,000 per shot. Like I said with the infinity pistol, it's the best one because you can just keep shooting it over. You don't run out of ammo. Like I said, same difference, keep doing this. Now this is just the easier version of doing it. I prefer the other way, doing the trial of instinct, you know, at the wayward tether, just because you get more barrels just to use just in case. This is a good alternative, especially if you haven't been that far in the game yet, and you just want to try this out at the beginning when you're starting out. So, here's this one. Alright, well, we're going to move on to the next one. Alright, guys, so the next farm I'm going to be showing you here is actually going to be a money, XP, and iridium farm. It's a pretty good one, but you are going to need the DLC 3 to play this one, and you're going to have to progress and beat it. You're going to have to go to Gehenna, and you're going to want to go to Crater's Edge. And then you'll be down here in the spawn point. We're just going to run through this area real quick right here. Let's see, right over here. So I'm you, it's pretty easy to run through. It only takes a second or two. Jump up here. Take care of them if you want to. Through here. See, down here. Get my good gun out. Run through this way. Through this portal. Now there's going to be a little save checkpoint right here. You want to grab that. See, we got that. So now, just run straight up here. We're actually going to be killing the Ruiner. That's why it's a really good one because it gives you 106 XP. Super easy to kill. As you can see, he's spinning out tons of Iridium, money, and he gives you a bunch of XP as well, like I just said. I'd say he spits out probably about 50, 60, maybe even 70 iridium depending on how many times you want to go out and kill them it also gives you a bunch of legendaries the reason this one's good because all you have to do save quit the game 
So once we go out into the menu, we're going to load back in. Yeah, create this edge. We don't got to run through or nothing like that. We're going to be right at the beginning of the entrance right here. Come right through back again. Kill them again really easily. Another 106,000 XP, as you can see. More iridium, more money. Now, this is a really good one for iridium, I would say, because iridium is hard to get. I will say it's hard to find it many good ways to get iridium in this game, but this is definitely the best one. If you have DLC 3, I would highly recommend doing this one. All right, well, we're going to move on to the next one. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I always appreciate it. I appreciate the support you guys have given me. Thank you for watching my last video that I made and encouraging me to make this one. That's really the main reason why I did it. It's just because so many people were asking me to expand on it, add a few more XP farms, add best, some more best glitches. Like I said, appreciate the support you guys have been giving me on 100,000 views on my last video. Completely blew my mind just with like I gained 400 subscribers. I appreciate you guys more than anything. Um, Alright, well, for that, I also just want to let you guys know that I am doing the giveaway, like I said at the beginning of the video. I'm going to be giving away three overpowered guns that I have on the screen right here. So if you want to get one of these guns, I'm going to be giving them away when we hit a thousand subscribers. All you got to do, like, comment, turn the notifications on, subscribe as well, comment that you did it. I'm going to work on getting you guns, and I, I appreciate you guys. Have a good night.